Hi, Team Studock here. Welcome back to some more D and Dual commentary. So we have Adrian Koch here, who potted into some really good cards. Like, oh my God, two freaking limited cards: Regeki and Thunder King, and your first turn Volcanic Rocket, which is just gets you your first turn set up with your Blaze Accelerator. So that was just one of the best pots you could literally ask for. So he's 1523, 401 experience, and then we got Occupy ARG. Here at 1427 with only 349 experience. So these guys, they both don't have 500 experience in match, but I mean, the ratings are still relatively high, so I mean, hopefully they know what they're doing. So he's going to be playing Book of Eclipse and the Thunder King, and then he's going to be summoning Senju, attempting to use it, the effect, and then asking him to get met with Phoenix Chan. So, hmm. Let's see, he's going to be playing Necro's Mirror now, so we're get, we got Necro's in Volcanic, so no Burning of S, thankfully. It's like the first time in a long time we've had absolutely no Burning of S on DN Dual Commentary. So let's see, Necro's Mirror. He could Tribute Hand or Field or Banish from the Grace, so we could Tribute the Senju to go for a Unicorn. He's going to be Blind Mind Crushing Unicorn. Ooh, I don't know about this one, man. That must be like a Volcanic Shell in your hand if you're really just gonna blind mind crush so let's see I don't know why you're viewing your graveyard you only got a freaking book of eclipse I don't know if, if he just loves book of eclipse he just wants to get that that wow really wow so apparently he did have the unicorn so Adrian takes the swift game one win not even two minutes into this video so hmm there's really not much more to say, so I guess we're going to pause the video and wait for these guys to side deck, and hopefully Necros can, you know, well, Adrian, he opened up amazing, like that freaking Mind Crush and the Thunder King was just too good, but I mean, hopefully Occupy ARG can do better in these next two games. Okay, guys, we're back, and he <laughs> Oh my god, so he conveniently opens up with the Thunder King again, because why the frick not? Oh my god, so... I'm surprised Occupy ARG isn't complaining, because I would be complaining. I would be salty. Like, really, man? I've let you go first. You only start with, start out with five cards. You get the first turn Thunder King both games. Like, what what the heck is going on here? I have no idea why you're viewing your extra deck. You're not going to exceed with that Thunder King. No way. There's no way you're going to exceed with that Thunder King. And I don't know how Volcanics are going to summon two other level 4 monsters in the same turn. Unless you're attacking Rescue Rabbit. Oh, Summoner Monk. I completely forgot about that. So, we'll be able to pitch one and go for the... The one guy. What is it called? The Searcher guy, but you won't be able to search because of Thunder King. So, I guess he's just going for the Street Exceeds play here. He's going to be pitching the Magic Planter. Ooh, Kaiku. That's interesting. Personally, I don't even know if I would exceed with the Kaiku, to be honest. So, Occupy RG is going to be taking some hits to the face here. He cannot attack, I believe. Yeah, he cannot attack with the Kaiku, so he just wanted to to bring it out for the extra stun factor. Regeki will put in so much work right about now, it's not even funny. Book of Eclipse wouldn't really do that much, because, I mean... Hmm... They're probably... like If you Book of Eclipse, you're probably not going to find a way to get past all three of them. But, I mean, if you Book of Eclipse... Okay, here's a Blind MST. That hits, ooh, the clutch solemn morning. Book of Eclipse actually would be really good right here, because then you could just Trish, and then that would put in a lot of work, because, I mean, what is that? What is that back row really going to be? So he's going to be summoning the Denko Seka. So now if he has the Book of Eclipse or something, he'll be able to do his plays. And, yeah, he <laughs> he conveniently knew he had the Solemn, but, I mean, this guy opened amazing. Like, freaking Thunder King and Solemn Warning. Like, God, that number generator, though. Here's the Book of Moon by him. Unfortunately, he didn't get the Raigeki. That would have been so, so much n nicer for him. So, it's going to be Book of Moon and the Thunder King, so now he can search all he wants. And he's probably going to be going for a Trishula. Wait, and actually he can't. Your opponent cannot banish cards from either player's graveyard, so as long as the Kaiku is on the field, you cannot resolve the effect of Trish. So, that kind of sucks. It's going to be pitching Colossalist to add a, a Necro's Mirror here. I wonder which one's going to go for. Probably Kaleidoscope. 
I mean, you can't go for cycle, or you can't go for the regular mirror, because that requires you to banish from the graveyard. Well, you don't have to, but let's see. Okay, he's gonna go for the kaleidoscope, most likely as a unicorn. It's probably a freaking Minecraft set, probably. And let's see what else he's gonna be. I guess searching out of Valkyrie, so he might have a Shiri. Oh no, he's gonna go Arclight to search it. No, he's just gonna go Brienne. There's so many different ways to search, it's not even funny. So he's gonna be ditching the shooting Quasar Dragon with the Kaleidoscope to go for the Unicorn Valkyrie's combo. So now he'll be able to attack over all three of Adrian's monsters. That's exactly what he's gonna do. Bye bye, and then he'll take 1100. Because most likely, yeah, Valkyrius will attack that for the extra damage. And then he's gonna be playing Rhoda in main phase 2. Adding what? Shirit or probably another Colossalus. Alright, guys, gonna be going for Shirit. And then he's gonna be using Valkyrius' effect, tributing the Unicorn and the Shirit. Draw two cards, Shirit's effect. Oh, yeah, so plus. So I really don't think Adrian's going to be coming out of this one. Just. Hmm. The, the clutch MST on the frickin'. On the Solemn put in a lot of work. The Denko put in a lot of work, and of course, it's all because all of the Book of Moon. All because of the Book of Moon, anything, any of this stuff right here is happening. Because literally, if it wasn't for that Book of Moon, like, none of this would even be happening right now. So, let's see what Occupy is going to be searching out. Oh, there's the Trish. And I will keep the current color scheme. Oh, thank you for asking me. It means a lot. Oh, there's the... Heat. <laughs> wow, he conveniently doomed to the preparation, too? God. So, you're not going to be getting past that Vicarious anytime soon. Because if you target it, I can just Trish, and if you destroy it, I can just gun near. So, yeah. I'm expecting a scoop phase by Adrian. He has the right Geki, but problem is you just have the gun near. I wonder if he's going to waste it, though. That's pretty much what he's thinking. Okay, he is going to just waste it. I mean, why not? Last time I checked, Vicarious is a, a pretty good monster. And, yep, yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I expected, a scoop phase from Adrian, so, some two relatively quick games here, and we're going to be pausing the video, and hopefully this game 3 won't go on for like a half hour, but if it does, whatever, we'll be able to watch it all, and see who will win this epic match of a victory. Okay, hi guys, we're back, so, Adrian surprisingly decides to go first here in this game 3. Maybe he's hoping that the Heart of the Cards will give him opening Thunder King all three games. Apparently, I don't believe this is the the factor right now because he's taking a little... Oh my god, no, he was just typing out some message. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Like, uh, seriously, Thunder King all three games. People, people say DN isn't a number generator. Like, it, it's not a theory. It's so, like, the statistics prove it. Like, oh my god, Thunder King all three games. If I was ARG, I'd be complaining so much. Like, this is just some complete, complete bull hooky. Like, what the frick? So, Occupy's gonna be summoning the Denko Seca. And Adrian didn't open up a Solemn Warning or a Chaos Trapple, but he's probably not even signing Chaos Trapple. Here's a Necro Cycle. He's gonna be pitching the Shiri. He gives up the search, but at least he'll be able to run over the Thunder King. Unless there's just some random hotness you're playing in frickin' whatever it's called, and playing in Volcanics, which I know for a fact you're not going to be doing. So, he burns a couple of resources to... Personally, I wouldn't exceed. Like, I, I don't know why he wanted to go into that Excite on Night so bad. I mean, there's a Blaze Accelerator reload set, then he could just he just has that live for the scatter shots. There goes bye-bye to Call the Haunted Emptiness and the Jara Avarice. Ouchie! I do admit that was a very risky play by Occupy. I mean, you knew he didn't have the Solemn Warning because he would have Solemn the Denko, but I mean, what if he had a Blaze Accelerator? I mean, then he wouldn't have, I don't know, personally, I just, I don't technically completely agree with it, but I guess it was for the better, so. Hmm, this game definitely is simplified to three resources apiece. He won't be able to use this guy's effect again because he's up on resources now, and the Blaze Accelerator reload is... You know, essentially useless until you top deck into, uh, I mean, some volcanics to use it to, to pitch it with. Or at least a 
magic planner so you could pitch it, draw two cards, and then you can use its graveyard effect to get some scatter shots or even volcanic shell. So we're approaching the 10 minute mark, gonna take a little break here, guys. He decided to go for a kaleidoscope, I believe, and he's playing that to summon the unicorn, and then he's gonna be. Hmm. Just searching out some stuff with the Herald. It's really not looking that good for Adrian. I'm sorry, man. You opened the Thunder King all three games, but I mean, just because you opened Thunder King all three games doesn't mean Necros are going to lose. I mean, they definitely have outs to play around it, and that's why they're the best deck. I mean, if just if one monster literally just shut it, shut them down completely, then they probably wouldn't be the best deck. I mean, I mean, opening Thunder King does put in a lot of work. I mean, a lot, but it's it's not going to be good enough to just give you the auto win. So, Occupy's view in his extra deck. I wonder if he's going to exceed here. Personally, I really don't think it's worth it. I mean, you know what Ad one of Adrian's sets are, so... Okay, he is going to exceed maybe a Levarval Chain to Gusto Emerald. Okay, Levarval Chain. I don't know how many monsters he had in the graveyard, so I guess to Gusto Emerald wouldn't have been the best of options. You can be using the effect most likely to stack a Manju, because you probably sided out Dijin for, for Volcanics. I don't know, he's going to stack another Denko. I guess he really wants the, the Denkos. Denko party up in here, kids. Like, you, you can't escape him. Just Denko's. Denko's everywhere. So, Blaze Accelerator Reload. Let's see if he drew a Magic Planner. And yes, he did. Before I got to finish my god dang sentence, man. So, what a very, very clutch top deck by Adrian. He's going to be killing that. Draw two cards. Here's Pot of Duality. Reveals Upstart. Another one. And then the Royal. So, he's most likely going to be taking... I would have took the Royal. <laughs> I would have took the rule, because... Can't you, can you use this to turn him a stunt to the graveyard? Let me read this. No! No! Ah, god dang it. Well, that sucks. <laughs> but I believe you can use the effect of Blaze Accelerator Reload the turn him a stunt to the graveyard. So you could have done that, sent three scatter shots, cool this and that, summon the royal, send back the three scatter shots, and the, the searcher guy, draw a fresh new pair of cards, and then, you know, at least be in a decent position, but hey, I, I don't know, man, so he's asking anything, and there's really no point, because, I mean, the single second you summon that Denko Psycho, he's just going to be ba banishing from the graveyard to kill your monsters, so, I mean, you're in a little bit of a conundrum here, ARG, sorry. Going to be using AR, or er, he's <laughs> going to be using Levarval Chain right now, most likely to, he might stack another good card, or send something for once, I don't know. Basically, what, okay, he's going to be stacking a Manju this time. So, first the Denko, then the Manju. So, all the cards I hate. So, Occupy. Most likely going to be... Yeah, entering the battle phase. And here you have to... Use your... Oh, no, he's going to be actually flipping one? Wow. Okay, he's going to be flipping that to pitch the shell. And then, he's going to be banishing the one to... Send the scatter shots, okay. Whatever. <laughs> so TT just drew planners and then he what? Why did you say T? You mean to, oh, I guess he misclicked GG and typed in the TT because T's right, right in front of G on the keyboard. But yeah, I just drew planners, so I guess Occupy Air G was going to, to just win next turn and or, or win this turn, and then yeah. So <laughs> thank you guys for watching. As always, we got to see a nice, a nice Brooklyn Rage by Adrian. Koch or whatever his name is, so Occupy wins the game, even though, you know, Adrian was lucky enough to open up the, or the Thunder King all three games, all three games he opened up the Thunder King, but it's still not enough, still not enough to beat the freaking Necros, like, hmm, that is just, that's just some sad stuff, man, you know, you know if you open up Thunder King all three games, you know, DN's nice enough to give you that, and then you still lose the match, you know, there's, there's some problems with Necros. 
So that's pretty much all I gotta say for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed as always. Stay tuned for tomorrow when we have everyone's favorite segment, low rated duelist. And a little surprise, there's gonna be a little hmm <laughs> there's there's gonna be a little a little bit of surprise on low rated duelist tomorrow. So stay tuned for that and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I mean for once Burning Abyss didn't win, but unfortunately Necros won again, so Necros are on a two week winning streak. And hopefully by next week, the new ban list will be in effect on DN, but probably not. I mean, I, I just give up hope on Kunami. Like, there's so much stuff I just give up hope on about Kunami. Like, the whole extra deck going to 20. Like, like I had hope that that would happen for the past two years, and I'm just giving up hope. The extra deck is not going to 20 anytime soon. Sorry, guys. So, that's pretty much all i got to say for this video. In the end, Necros win. And hope you guys enjoyed, as always. Stew Dog signing out.